The Hawks just had a collective Shackton moment. They missed like three wide open layups down three with two minutes left, and the Nets get the rebound. KD runs in like a man on a mission, sprints to his spot, and you know it's already green. Now, if you can't imagine how it feels to get bitched on simultaneously on both ends of the court back to back, you'd know how Trey feels right now. He feels like being a menace, probably knocked down some cheers or some shit. Nate McMillan is surprisingly calm about this, and they're having KD guard Trey Young. Weird matchup, right? Well, we'll see in a little bit how weird it really gets. Trey tries to move around the court, but KD is a wall, which is an odd sentence to say. The fact that Slim Reaper is stopping someone. But it's the truth. And Trey tries to do anything and gets pushed by KD into Claxton. So Trey's like, I've had enough of this. I'm not gonna let a tall guy do tall guy things to me. Get off me. Pushes him away. And then neither back down, but Trey is just kind of staring at KD's chest. While KD's like, sorry, I can't hear you from down there. That's the competitive energy right there. Some extra playoff-like intensity. If only Trey could learn from PJ and gain a ton of muscle. And maybe go on a winning streak so the Hawks aren't on the fucking 10th seed. It would look cooler, but whatever. But yeah, he's done with it. Let's go ahead and lose this game already. This ain't the end of it, though. Y'all gotta see how this man KD violates Trey again. So it's a dead ball and KD wants to guard and shit. But he starts putting his hands around Trey's hips and puts his head all up in Trey's personal space. Which, first off, what the fuck? And second off, damn KD is hella smooth with it if Trey ain't saying anything about it. Rests his head on Trey's shoulder all lovey-dovey style like, what the hell? Looking like a teenage romance. He wasn't ever this close with Russ or Steph. KD to the Hawks confirmed after his contract ends. He dips his head down now. Maybe he wanted to experience what it's like to be 6'1". Like, he shoots like he's 6'1", but he's also 6'11", so he wants to feel like he's normal, even though being normal is less talented. But all I'm going to say is that I won't judge. Maybe Steve Nash told him to do that. I'm just a Warriors fan, so anything KD does outside of our organization is none of my business. And then he begins to guard normally. No more snuggling and shit. But yeah, the game's basically over. The Nets win. Subscribe or KD will try to get all smooth of his ashy-ass ankles on you. This video's a wrap.